What's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you this look right here. It is a green look from eyes to lips, green everywhere in honor of Christmas season. It is a cost efficient look and on top of that is an easy look to do. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I got this look. Remember to go ahead and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that bell so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Share this video and check out the rest of my other content after this one. All right, let's get on to the video. All right, y'all, so let's get started with this look. As y'all can see, I look a hot mess right now. I look kind of crazy. I look like who did it all for. I know, I know, I know. But let me just let y'all know what's going on right now with my face. So... If y'all wondering, yes, I have on a base. I have my foundation on, I have on concealer and blush and a little bit of highlight only because I went to work this morning. So yeah, I didn't feel like taking off the makeup and starting with a fresh face. So I'm like, let me go ahead and do my eyes. Like I want to because after all, this is a Christmas eye look. So I went ahead and primed my lids and I, did something to my eyebrows because my eyebrows was like it was looking atrocious before I did it like this. I, it still looked atrocious to me, but it looked way worse than this prior. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into this Wet n Wild palette and use this crease color. It is a dark green. I really don't know the the name of it does it have a name no but it just says like the crease of that palette so I'm just going to pack this right here just pack it right there and try to make a really you know halo effect a lot of all This color is so cute, but it's like so dark that you can't tell that it's green. It kind of looks like I'm putting a black in my crease, but I'm really not. It's just a really pretty dark green. I'm going to go ahead and switch brushes and just slightly blend it to blend out the creases. There's absolutely nothing on this brush. I just want to blend out the harsh line and I'm just gonna slightly just drag this over in my crease as well right now this is what I am working with and I'm not mad about it it looks cute to me I love this like I can yes Brittany this green is so gorgeous, y'all. Do y'all see that? So now I'm gonna go into this Zulu palette. I'm super excited about trying this out. I'm going into the Zulu palette and I'm going to pick up that gorgeous green, <sighs> that bright, bright green, y'all. I'm kind of nervous about it, but at the same time, I'm not because why not? So I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer. I don't know if I should use my fingers or not. So I'm just gonna pack this on my brush and then place it on my eye and see if that works. If not, I'm gonna use my finger, but I'm just gonna, yeah, I need to use my fingers. So I'm gonna pack this on with my finger right on my lid. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Don't look at my nails, y'all. It's destroyed. This is coming out cute, y'all. Do y'all see that? Oh, oh my God. Do y'all see that transition between that dark green to the light green? I'm so excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then come back and let y'all know what I'm gonna do next. 
Alright, so as you can see, this is the look that I'm trying to go for. So what I'm going to do is work on my lower lash. And for my lower lash, what I did already, if you can't tell, is I went ahead and dragged this down to my lower lash. Just right here in the inner corner of my lower lash. What I'm going to do is take my Hikari Cream Pigmented Red. And what I'm going to do is kind of smoke this out. And in order to get that depth that I want, I'm going to start off with this red base. to use this sugar pencil that I got in the shade what is the shade green light it's the shade green light and I'm just going to taper my lower lash with this like so so what I'm going to do is dip my brush into the same dark green right here and I'm gonna taper that on my lower lash so that I can smoke out my lower lash so gorgeous I'm just gonna layer this right on top of that red and just smoke I'm gonna smoke that out so right now I'm just gonna go off camera and line my eyes because y'all know I ain't the best at that so I'm gonna do that now okay so i went ahead and put lashes on after lining my eyes because y'all know your girl struggle in that area when it comes to putting on lashes but this is the look for now now i'm finna just zoom y'all out a little bit because i'm finna do my touch up makeup and i'm gonna show y'all how i touch up my makeup okay so i have powder sitting under my eyes so i'm just going to wipe that excess powder off so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and go in with some blush and i kind of want to do like a a really bold blush like a pink i don't know a really bold dark deep bright pink if i don't even know if i'm making sense y'all i don't but i'm gonna pick up a blush so for my blush i'm going to go in with the steve laurent blush that's what the youtubers be doing he be getting on my nerves i know i just got on y'all's so i'm just gonna y'all i didn't even contour but i'm gonna contour after i put this blush on so i'm just putting blush right here i'm just gonna bring it up as if I'm contouring. Oh, I like this blush. Do y'all see that? This blush is so pretty. Y'all probably can't tell, but I can tell. So it's really pretty. You can tell the difference from this side and this side. Rosy cheeks. Yes, it's so pretty. So I'm going into my all-time favorite contour palette. If y'all don't know, it is the Black Radiance palette. The contour palette, it is so great. And I'm just going to lightly go under this blush. And then I'm going to go across my forehead. Now I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose. Ooh. I put too much. Jesus! So with my highlight... I'm really nervous to try this, but I'm down for the cause. I don't like liquid highlighters that much because it's kind of hard for me to blend it. So I'm just gonna put it like this. And then blend it out as if it was like a, a, a concealer. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender and blend this out. This is not good enough for me as far as highlighter situation goes. 
So what I'm gonna do is layer this with um, a blush. It's a blush, but it looks like a highlighter, and I use that as a highlighter all the time. It is the I don't know how to say this word, but it's right here. And this is Prom Queen, and I'm just gonna use this as a highlighter because, Lord, this situation here. Oh. Hello. Hello, it's me. It blushes everything, y'all. So now that I got this on, I have to figure out what kind of lippy I want on because this is gorgeous. This look right here probably requires a nude, but I'm finna go bold. <laughs> so a while back, I picked up this lippy. It was for Halloween, but I never got a chance to use it. And it's Smoky Jade. It's a Maybelline lippy. I think it's matte. Yes, it's a powder matte lipstick and it's dark green and i kind of want to i kind of want to put it on i kind of want to do i do <gasps> it matches the outer corner of my eyes <laughs> yes y'all i am living for this lip it is so cute oh my god See how this look came together. I'm living right now, y'all. The green, the green eyes, the green lip, the whole ensemble together, the pink rosy cheeks with this bronzy highlighter is everything to me. And I can't stop looking at myself and doing this. Y'all, so cute. I'm so happy with this look. Well, that's it y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel check out the rest of my other content share this video and as always always be you because you are awesome you are amazing you are one of a kind i will see y'all next time deuces y'all